butterflies. You are now inside the chrysalis. I'm JL Butterfly. To my students and family, I'm a writer who is obsessed with the imagery and symbolism of butterflies. Sometimes it's challenging to find a life balance. That's why Depassionate One was written into the story. Depassionate One is also a teacher, writer, and performer. Together, we take the time, energy, and attention to reflect on our lives and express our ideas through the power of the pen. We are always learning, ever evolving, becoming our best selves, and recognizing our butterfly beauty. More tea, please. I am becoming. I am transforming. Hi. <laughs> Hey Jess, hey, welcome to that. Tea with D. You got your mug today. <laughs> <laughs> what you sipping on today, girl? Actually, iced tea. I, I made it yesterday and um, it was the green tea because I've been drinking a lot of the black tea and it was really strong. Yeah. So I switched over to the green tea and I had some leftover. I put it in the fridge. So I'm drinking iced tea this morning. Mm, I don't really like iced tea or green tea or black tea. <laughs> I don't like any of your teas. <laughs> <Mark me. laughs> I never liked iced tea though. Even growing up as a kid, when they made it on a hot summer day, it just it did nothing for me. Mm. I'm having some chamomile and lavender just to calm the senses today. I did have yeah. some chamomile tea, like you said, the other day. Um but I, I didn't get as much rest as I thought I would because I was working on the, the podcast episode. Yeah. So um, I'm glad that I, I got it done. And I'm, I'm glad that we're moving on to the next one. Yeah, my goodness. We are moving on to the next one, right? <laughs> <laughs> like life, we got to keep moving. But Corinne is doing these little lip glosses. So let me try and see if it really works. Uh -huh. Let me see. If my lips are going to be popping. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and it's not too shiny either. Mm, it's, just, it's just bright. Fabulous. Yes. Yo, this icy lip gloss is popping, all right? Y'all better go and support Corinne. Shop pretty and pink on Instagram. Okay. Have your lips popping. <laughs> so I would check that out. Yeah, she definitely she has a different variety. This one is called Ice. All right, so it's your turn to pray. I don't think you're getting away from it this week. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did it two weeks in a row. Okay. Um I I really wasn't I really wasn't feeling feeling up to speaking last week. I was I was really sad. Uh I'm still sad, but um I've been writing a lot more. So, dear Lord, thank you for bringing us to a place of peace and comfort and creativity. Please allow us to use the pen and fill us with the energy and the ideas to use our pens and create new masterpieces on our pages. Please give us strength, please help balance us, and please help to fortify us in all that we do and all that we endeavor. Lord, please bless our family, our friends, and please 
Bring our spirit ancestors around us to protect us always. Amen. Amen. 12.07 p.m. I am in Harlem in my bedroom, right by my window, same place. I'm feeling stimulated right now. I know that I have a lot to get done by Wednesday. I'm bringing consistency to the table and my radio is off. All right, I am at the bedroom window. Um, my mood is exhausted, but eager to still build myself and to build my business. I am still bringing music to the table. You didn't even tell me this song today. No, I mean, my radio has been off for the past few weeks, actually. Ah, okay. I don't know what's up with my radio settings, but I think because my mind is just like focused on so many different things. It's not even allowing a song to filter through right now. Gotcha. That's what the words are not filtering through right now. And that's, that's what I know. It's like, I, I have the music, but the words are still like a, it's like alphabet soup in my head. I can see it, but I can't connect them yet. So that's what I know. Okay. And what's on your radio? Um, the song, You Are Not Alone, from the soundtrack, from the symphony. Mm -hmm. um, and that was really because when I go, when I create the, the podcast, I have to watch the footage like nine, ten times in order to actually get the final product. So to hear you giving me advice over and over and over <laughs> Like, okay. We're like, shut up, D. I heard it the first time. <laughs> I, I realized that, that that was part of the whole chrysalis experience and that that me me editing it is giving me the opportunity to to see the information, to to hear the advice and have it resonate with me in a different way because the first time I heard it, wasn't the same time when I heard it the, the sixth time. And then when I watch it again, it'll probably be something different. And um, the, the piece that I'm actually gonna read to you, it was based on you telling me about the, the energy. Mm -hmm. I have to get my core straight. I realized that there was a moment when, when I lost all of, all of the weight, when I like, really got down to the size that I thought I wanted to be. And I was, I was tunnel vision focused on fixing myself and fixing my body. And I wasn't concerned about work. That's when we, we met at Aspire. And when I shifted to only wanting to be like the best teacher in the classroom and do everything for my students, I stopped thinking about myself and I stopped doing for myself. And my whole core just like dropped, like I couldn't hold it anymore. And that's when I started gaining the weight back. So it's like years later, I've gained back 100 pounds. And I really need to get that, that core, that tightness, that feeling back so that I can actually handle a, a TGT session for training girl training. Remember, we kept on talking about the untamed and destined to fly free. And I really thought it was going to be a writing um, workshop. And the more that I was trying to push it out as a writing workshop, I just kept on getting, not restriction, but like in my mind and my heart, just kept on feeling like, not yet, don't release it yet because it's gonna be more than that. And it is more than that. So it's, it's going to be, kind of what you need right so it's, it's going to be a three-day retreat for your mind body and your spirit and it's going to be centered around prayer fitness and writing so passion fill women you know we keep going back to you know that tribe that ministry the work that i want to do under my llc is for passion fill women and what i'm coming into understanding as I am sending the vibe out for my tribe 
is that those women that I want to be a part of, of my tribe, I want them to be passionate about praying. I want them to be passionate about fitness and I want them to be passionate about writing, right? Because for me, those are the three things right now that's helping me. And, and the word came to me this morning, it's helping me fortify my mind, my body and spirits. So like it's bringing me back together, right? I've been, for so many years of our lives, we've been doing life, right? And part of us doing life, we have really decompartmentalized our bodies from our minds and our spirit, right? So there's certain things we just do automatically every day and work, you know, is one of those things, right? To be honest about that situation, like work is one of those automatic things that we get up and we do every day. And sometimes it's like, it's flowing. Yeah, but it's automatic, right? It's just, it just, we do it, right? We do it. Sometimes we don't even have to really think about the process because we're so conditioned into doing it that it just flows, right? But now it's like, we are at a space and a place where COVID has locked us inside, right? And the mind can't be separated from the body or the spirit anymore. So it's like, okay, what you gonna do now, right? So what are you gonna do to rebuild yourself from the inside out? And I think um, that's, that's the experience that I'm bringing at the end of the month um, for Untamed and Destined to Fly Free is going to be just that, just a moment for us to understand that we can't live separate from our minds, body, and spirit anymore. We have to develop the habits, right, that are necessary to cultivate the right mind, to cultivate the right body, and to cu cultivate the right spirit. Not saying that we need to have a beach body, right, but we need to have a body that we are are comfortable in. You know, we we need to have a body that you know we we want to be in, we, we need to be good to the body so the body can be good to us. The same thing with the mind. We need to be good to our minds so our minds can be good to us. We need to be good to the spirit so the spirit can be good to us. And in order for the mind, body and spirit to be good to us, there are certain things that we need to be doing. One thing I realized when I put myself on that reading schedule for the book Untamed, if I had finished that book when I wanted to, the lesson that I learned last weekend would not have been the right timing. There was a, a line that I read at the end of the book that I needed to receive last weekend. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It just like brought together some things that I, I was grappling with, right? And the statement was just so profound. And it was just like, I will never abandon myself again point blank to satisfy any other conversation any other positioning any other person any other friendship any other entity i will never ever again abandon who i am becoming you know what i'm saying and i said who i'm becoming because it's not finished yet right who you're becoming is not finished yet Part one is done, but we're not finished yet with episode two of Inside the Chrysalis.